On a clear moonless night above our heads, we can witness thousands of sparkling stars. However, that's just what we can perceive with the naked eye. When we observe the galaxy with powerful telescopes, billions more become apparent. In fact, the Milky Way galaxy alone is estimated to host between 100 to 400 billion stars. Looking even further to our neighboring galaxies and beyond, an incalculable number awaits. The Sun, our closest star, appears enormous as it rises and sets every day. Although it dwarfs most nearby objects, it's considered average-sized in reality. Join us on Cosmic Journey the new largest star in the universe 2024. Woji 64. The universe boasts stars far larger than our Sun. These stars aren't just slightly bigger, they are astonishingly larger. So, how large is the biggest star we have observed so far? How large can stars theoretically grow? And what happened to you, I Scooty? You are watching V101 Space. I'm Rop. If you enjoy my videos, remember to subscribe and tap the notification bell to never miss an upload. When discussing the largest stars in the known universe, it depends on whether we're considering mass or total volume. Mass refers to how much matter a star contains, while volume is the space it occupies. The most massive stars may not be remarkably large in sheer size, and the most voluminous stars may contain less matter relative to their physical size. As stars age, they tend to lose mass. This process is happening to our sun as it ages. In approximately 5 billion years, after exhausting its nuclear fuel, it will evolve into a bloated red giant, engulfing the orbits of Mercury, Venus, and possibly Earth. However, there are stars that surpass our sun in both mass and size. The current largest star by mass is named Bet 99-98. It's estimated to be 226 times the mass of the Sun, resulting from a possible merger of two stars. Bet 99-98 is relatively young at 7.5 million years and is shedding mass rapidly. Models suggest it has already lost 20 times the Sun's mass. Despite its massive size, it is projected to end its life in a catastrophic supernova, leaving behind a black hole. In terms of physical size, the largest star currently known is not UI Scuti, as previously believed. Instead, a star named Stevenson 2-18 was considered the largest a couple of years ago. It was estimated to be so vast that if placed in our solar system, it would engulf the orbit of Saturn. However, there might be a theoretical limit to how big stars can grow, around 1,500 times the radius of the Sun. This limit challenges the estimates for Stevenson 2 to 18, and uncertainties in its distance from Earth could significantly alter its size. Measuring the size of gigantic stars is challenging. These objects are extremely large, thousands to millions of times the volume of the Sun, located far away and emitting intense light. There is no clear cut equation to determine their size, as it depends on various factors, including mass, composition, evolutionary history, and the strength of their stellar wind. While potential giant stars may continue to expand, at some point, their outer layers merge with the interstellar medium, making it difficult to define their actual surface. So, measuring the size of these stars proves to be no easy task. Atmospheres and photospheres are constantly changing and frequently enveloped in vast clouds of dust, making it challenging to accurately determine their true size. Nevertheless, astronomers make efforts to do so by considering various factors, including the star's distance and its surrounding environment. Through these measurements, among other criteria, they can derive estimates that fall within a range of confidence. So, based on our most reliable measurements, which star currently holds the title of the largest in the known universe? According to the list of known largest stars, this distinction currently belongs to a red supergiant named WG64. Positioned approximately 160,000 light-years away in a neighboring satellite galaxy called the Large Magellanic Cloud, WG64 boasts an estimated radius of 1,540 times that of the Sun. To put it in perspective, if WG64 replaced the Sun in our solar system, it would engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even Jupiter. This measured radius aligns with the theoretical growth limit and aligns with many other large red supergiants found elsewhere. WG64 is likely in the later stages of its stellar evolution, having depleted its nuclear fuel, causing the expansion of its outer layers and transforming it into a true cosmic giant. Additionally, this enormous star is surrounded by a torus-shaped cloud of dust, roughly a light year in diameter, composed of material it has expelled. Incredibly, it is estimated that if all the material in the Taurus cloud were gathered, it would be sufficient to recreate our entire solar system nine times over. 
While WG64 may seem to be the largest star based on these measurements, other studies have yielded different results. Some sources suggest a measurement of 2,575 times the radius of the Sun, surpassing even the possibly overestimated size of Stevenson 2 to 18. If accurate, this would easily engulf Saturn's orbit, and if one were to travel around it at the speed of light, it would take almost 10.5 hours to complete one loop. In comparison, light from the Sun reaches Pluto in only four hours. In conclusion, while it is evident that the universe contains truly enormous stars in various stages of their evolution, determining the overall largest one remains unclear. Ongoing advancements in observational techniques and technology will likely enable astronomers to refine their measurements and gain a better understanding of these cosmic behemoths. WG64 may currently hold the title of the largest star ever observed in the known universe, but it's possible that this top spot will change with further research. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries signing off.